welcome back to Island Vibe Cooking. Today, I will be showing you guys how to make baked chicken my way, okay? My way, so today I have some drumstick here that we're going to be cleaning and bake it. It's going to turn out really good. So first thing first, let me just turn on the oven on 400 degrees. Set the timer. Okay, now the oven is on. We're going to start by cleaning the chicken. It's right here in the sink. You will be needing salt and also you'll be needing lime, okay? Let's get started. First thing first, we're going to start by cleaning the chicken. Now, if you don't like to clean your chicken this way, you can skip it. You don't have to follow this. It's just the way that I like to clean my drumstick. All right. So we're going to cut this part. I'm using a shears to cut that part out. I'm leaving the skin on the chicken because I want to. And I think this leaving the skin on, it will make it nice and juicy while it's baking. So. So now I'm trying to find a faster way to cut the chicken. So I cut all of them, then I'm just gonna remove this part with the scissors. Just like so. All right, now we have the chicken here that we're going to clean with the lime and also the salt. Let's just pour in the salt, just like so. It might look like it's a lot, but it's not gonna be salty or anything once I wash it out. We're going to scrub the lime all over the chicken, just like so. Just like that. So the lime and the salt will basically remove any of those nasty yellow residue on the chicken. And your chicken is not going to taste raw like meat. I don't know, it's just something. When you go to barbecue or anything like that, and you can tell the person didn't really clean the chicken because it tastes funny. Even though the chicken might be delicious, but you can taste that rawness. Like it, it has a taste, uh, uh, even a smell too, okay? It has a really strong, um, not gamey, but it's just there. I don't know, it's something about I don't know. We'll leave it at that. If you know, you know. <laughs> so we're just going to scrub the chicken just like so. And excuse the background noise. Like all that yellow part. I like to remove them. I don't know if you guys can really see it. That yellow part right here. I like to remove as much as I can. Um, yeah, they edible, but I just don't like them. 
I like to remove them. Okay. I won't be able to remove all of it, but I try. At least I try. I know the salt can help you as well, but. Okay guys, now it's time for me to rinse the chicken. I'm using regular room temperature water to rinse it off. Then I have all the seasoning here that I am going to show you guys to make this chicken. When I tell you this chicken is going to be delicious, you better trust me, okay? Let's get started here. And no, I did not touch the sink. I used my arm, but this is what you do. Once you rinse it off, make sure you squeeze the water out, okay? We don't want any water in the chicken. Squeeze it out. Now, this trick that I am about to show you guys is for when you don't have time to marinate the chicken, uh, to let it sit and you know get all the marinating to go through the chicken, this is what you'll do. This is what I do. And your chicken's still gonna come out delicious regardless. Okay, you're going to take a fork. Fork check. Now we're going to take the chicken. So here I have the chicken. What you're going to do is take your chicken, peel off the skin a little bit, and once you, you're going to take the chicken like this, move the skin away for a little bit, and then you're going to go like this. I know it might seem a lot, like, oh, that's too much, but you're putting your foot into this chicken all right just like so and then we're going to cover it that's it all the seasoning all the the marinating will go through the chicken bone the chicken oh this is the other thing us us caribbean people we're <laughs> We love chicken to the point where we'll eat the bones, like no joke. And that's how all the juice, all the seasoning go through the chicken because it's well seasoned, you know? You can't even eat the bone. Like, I know it might seem a little disturbing for some, for some people, but it's true. <laughs> it's very true, okay? So we're just gonna keep going like this. You see, a little bunch of holes. Now, the seasoning that I am about to use, you don't really have to use them, but if you can, try to use them because that's what's gonna make the chicken taste exactly like mine. But I know during this time, you can't really go out and buy seasoning. If you can't, use what you have in hand. But I am going to season the chicken with um, I will leave the ingredients down below, but I will name everything that I'm adding in right now so you guys can see. So let's get started. First thing first, we're going to add salt. Salt adding in. We're going to add freshly cracked pepper. Okay. That's the last pepper I'm gonna have to use. This one because we like lots of pepper in our chicken. Now we're adding cloves, ground cloves. This thing is strong, so be careful. Just a little bit is fine, it goes a long way. We're going to add paprika for color. 
Now this doesn't give it a taste. Regular paprika, just color. Give it a nice color. You don't want the chicken to come out looking all blush. Now we're adding garlic. Love garlic. Woo -hoo -hoo. Garlic. We're adding onion powder in. Onion powder. A little bit more. Now remember, this is baked chicken. So, gotta be careful. We're going to add Creole seasoning. Okay, you can use you can use all-purpose seasoning as well, but for now we're using Creole seasoning. Now we're adding a little tiny bit of the adobo seasoning. And I'm so sorry I forgot to mention I did add a little bit of oil onto my chicken. Forgot to mention that. I'm adding a little bit dry parsley in this as well. Dry parsley, guys. Nothing major. Just mix it. You can move the skin as well so the seasoning can go through. Okay. And yes, I will be adding more because as you guys can see, we need more. Now we're going to place the chicken in here so we can bake it. And it smells absolutely delicious already, all the seasoning. All right, here's the chicken. We're going to get ready to add it in the oven. But one last time, I wanted to sprinkle some paprika on there. Um, I wanted to add some parsley on the chicken. And we're going to bake it, okay? Now I'm gonna bake it just like this, but once it's getting ready to finish i'm going to cover it all right so let's place it in the oven we're going to place the chicken not in the middle but on top of the the first rack on top so it can be nice and hot and cook okay guys the chicken is ready excuse me my clothes are now changed to a different outfit but the chicken is ready. We're going to check it to see if it's really ready after 45 minutes. Let's just check it out. This is what our, ooh, it's hot. This, this is what our chicken looks like. All right, I'm gonna use the gravy to make some sauce for my rice. And this is what it looks like, but it's not fully cooked yet. I am gonna add it back in the oven for another 15 minutes, then it should be ready. All right, so I'm going to be adding some onions to it so we can have some oniony flavor. Oniony flavor. I mean, now I'm going in with a little bit more parsley. We're going to bake it now, okay? We're going to bake it for 15 more minutes. Okay guys, the chicken is ready. I'm so excited to show you guys how it looks because it looks so good. It looks so juicy. I can't wait to try it. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Look at that! Let me give you guys a slow mo. Ooh! This is what the chicken looks like. Ooh! Oh, yeah.
yes I'm ready to eat it looks like fried chicken but it's not you can see there's still some more juice at the bottom I mix them together if you see it's like a lot I just mix them together but what what let me give you guys a closer look Ooh. I am about to devour this like what are you talking about baked chicken made easy what is this even bake or fried i don't understand Ooh. Oh, crap. <laughs> all right guys i'm ready to dive in i'm ready to eat Woo -hoo -hoo. here it is yes you guys see this huh you see this right you see the juice do you see it do you see it Ugh, i was trying to make it come out it looks good it looks good it looks really really good oh my gosh and it looks, it's juicy i don't know if you guys can tell but this is the most juiciest chicken you'll get okay it's nice and juicy it's not dry you ready to eat mm. okay. mm. so good